society thinks these children have have some kind of funny demonic spirits, superstition. You know, um, family some family members will say that um, somebody from the village it, it was uh, witchcraft which, uh, and things like that. I mean, that that's that still goes on. They feel ashamed to own up to own up that they have these children. So what they do is to take the children out of the country, dump them somewhere. A lot of parents are not accepting. When they have the child, either they terminate the pregnancy or the child will never live to see the light of the day. People believe that uh, if you have a child like this, maybe you have done something bad, uh, so God is punishing you for doing this. Politically, everybody is really very tired. You know, we've been pushed this way and shoved this way and people, it's like, this is just another extra thing to start making noise about. And a lot of people don't have that energy. But if we have a government who is willing to listen, you know, it wouldn't be so difficult. But once there's nobody high up in government standing and giving his support, it could take forever. You go through the various stages from the time you get to know your child with Down syndrome, the shock stage, the denial stage. I want to let them know they are not alone in this. There's something exceptional about them. And so if we take our time to attend to them and not shut them in and not um, violate them, create space, a learning space for them where they can really express themselves. I go around saving them. I just tell them that um, I know their gods are very strong, very powerful, but leave me to contend with your God. You stay aside. And that ends the story. <laughs>